year ago, you were talking about wanting to do music so bad and make your own art and put it out there. And now, bam, here it later. is. I know. It's crazy. I think, you know, it's very exciting because Zendaya, the album, not yes. speaking in terms of Zendaya, but Zendaya, the album, you know, I think it's um, a clear representation of who I am. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, when I was here, I was like, you know, I just want to be creative. I want everybody to really see who I am. And honestly, that's what this album is all about. You know, yeah. I was in control creatively and was able to express myself in that way and that's why I'm excited for yeah. it because it's truly you know it's truly from me and from from my heart and what and what Zendaya is all about so I love my baby by the way thank you which is produced by Nick Knack who's also from the Bay Area yes and Bobby Brackens has been working with you also from the Bay Area yes Dude, you're making the Bay real proud right That's now. That's right. You know, I got to because, you know, this is this is my hometown. And I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I literally, like, I'm so excited here, especially just because this is like the radio station that I listen to, like, every day, like, it, yeah. like my entire life. Like, So tell us about the album Zendaya. I call it Zendaya, actually, because people always mess up my name. Yeah. And it's like Zendaya, Zendata. Like, it just gets crazy, right? <laughs> I wanted people to start saying my name right. Yeah. So I thought maybe if I name my album Zendaya, people will know that it is Zendaya. Zendaya. So, yeah. yeah. But, um, well, you know, basically I wanted to create my own lane of music. I wanted to do something that was specifically for me and kind of, you know, when you hear the song, that's definitely Zendaya, you know? Yeah. So uh, I wanted to create rhythmic pop, which is like, it's pop music, but it's infused with more urban, you know, undertones. It has more of a hip hop flair, has more R&B flair. So it's not just your standard pop, pop you know, bubblegum pop music. Right. So tell us, like... Who do you want to work with in the future? Because I'm sure you have like a, you know, a dope I wish list. Well, of course, Beyonce's number one because I mean, gosh, she's Beyonce. Yeah. I mean, do I need Beyonce. a reason? She's Beyonce. <laughs> um, two, I would say I want to work with like rap artists and mm -hmm. stuff because I think that, you know, if they could do a clean verse for me, that would be real nice. And <laughs> that is you know so what I'm saying? Cute. Can we just try to, you know, clean it up and do a little? I mean, hey, two chains, I feel like he can pull it out. I yeah. feel like we can do that. No you cursing. Know? No yeah. cursing, no foul language. Let's <laughs> talk about some positive for a change and just, you know, make some cute and fun but you know i think that would be cool if i did have like a, a nice rapper on speaking of rappers can i just can we just have a second yes and last night something monumental happened to oh me. boy tell us drake followed me on twitter guys wow. okay so can i just like can we just like breathe this in like can we just take a moment i was like i i looked at my phone i was like Drake what? followed me on Twitter. I was I was like, okay, there's just no way. This isn't real. This isn't real life. I screenshotted it, sent it to like eight people. It was crazy. All right, so if you had to do a song with Drake or Beyonce, who would it be? Oh, well, I'm sorry, Drake, but Beyonce wins because it's Beyonce. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, but you can feature on it. It'll be like a Girls Love Beyonce remix. How about that? You know what I'm saying? All right, so between Drake or 2 Chains. Okay, I'm sorry, 2 Chains, but Drake, you know, Drake. he followed me. You ain't followed me yet, so I mean, you're just not so up there. So he makes it. <laughs> All right, so who else are you listening to other than, you know, you being in the studio and working mm -hmm. on your music? And Drake, who else? <laughs> you know, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, and I think it's very important to be an artist, especially if you're young, to be well in tune with music and music history. You know, I have, like, all kinds of playlists. I have my Luther Vandross playlist. I have my Bob Marley playlist. I have my Tupac playlist. I have... Get it. I, you know, I just yeah. try to hit up all the little, you know, all the... I have my Bay playlist where yeah. I have, like, my Too Short, E-40, yeah. like... You know what I mean? I just go off for a second with that. And then, um, you know, I, I just like to, like I said, just keep well-rounded in music and, and know your stuff. Stevie Wonder, you know, I have my old school Donny Hathaway on there. It's just everything has to... You have to... Know your stuff. Yeah, and this is really important because a lot of your fans are so much younger. And so to hear these names, they're just like, wait, who are these people? And they've, you know, paved the way for music. Exactly. So my thing is, you know, I have to keep MJ's legacy alive because I am just the major, like, a s obsessed with Michael Jackson, right? So everything is Michael Jackson, and I need to make sure that every young person knows who Michael Jackson is. So if you could go back in time and you had a chance to either meet Bob Marley or Tupac, who would it be? Oh, guys, come on. That is a tough question. I know, I know. I would meet Tupac first because, you know, he seems like he... It's Tupac. He, it's Tupac, guys. <laughs> and he would g just give you so much knowledge and, like, 
poetry oozes from him. And yes. You'd be like, wow, you're just like incredible. And then after Bob Marley, I feel like he's just so chill and like he would just put your mind together <laughs> and you're just like, wow, like I learned so much today. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that would be just a great time. If you had to dance in a music video with either Usher or Chris Brown, who would it be? <sighs> That's a tough Usher, one. Usher, y'all. I Usher. mean, I love me some Chris Breezy, okay? I'm I I I Dancing, I, we're talking about right we're now. We're talking right about now. right now. We're not talking about Usher Peak, Chris Brown Peak. We're talking about, hey, we got Usher here, we got Chris Brown, and you guys have to do a dance video. Okay. I, l I love Chris <laughs> Brown. But Usher, guys, I mean, can we let it burn? Like, yeah. can we? He's not going to sing with you. I mean, he's going to he's dance going with to you. Dance, that's it. And that's okay. that's okay. Yeah. But he's like, he's Usher. So it's like, I like grew up listening to Usher like my entire life. It's just, yeah. it's Usher. And I love you, Chris Brown. Don't take it to offense. Yeah. But I mean, you Usher's dance been with here Usher. from the beginning. If you had to dance with either J-Lo or Sierra. I love J-Lo. I love you, J-Lo. I love you, Jenny from the block. But Sierra, everybody keeps saying like some some similarities between me and Sierra. So I would like to do a dance, and uh, she's a dope dancer. Absolutely, like, she's so fit. It's yes. like get it, girl. Okay, like yes, health. All right, so you were on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. How awesome. How was that experience for you? It's really intense. I think people don't really understand how crazy it is because not only are you learning new dances, but you're learning new dance styles. And then on top of that, you have to perfect them and then do them live every week in front of millions of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know you're also, you have a movie in the works, yes? Yes. Okay. I did a, a Disney Channel movie, and it's called um, Zapped. So it's about this girl who basically, you know, she's moving in with... Um, a new family because her mom has gotten remarried and like you know her she has a whole bunch of new brothers around her and she's a girly girl she likes things you know very neat and tidy she's a girl you know and these boys are disgusting they're gross whatever <laughs> and they just kind of mess up her life and there's a dog in there she downloads this smartphone app yeah. um and um something happens to the phone and next thing you know she can actually control the boys with her phone instead of the dogs so it was originally called boys or dogs but now yeah. it's called zapped yeah. so it's like zoe is the character in app so zapped. got it yeah but it's it's actually it's really really cool and then obviously you can tell things go wrong and she has to <laughs> yeah. put the world back together what else are you working on you're so busy and you're so <laughs> young and you're doing it right now repping for the bay what else are you got you know, into works. Oh man. Okay. So I just, you know, right off Dancing with the Stars, I did the replay video and that came out. Did you guys see that? Okay. Yes. Holla, holla. Yeah. So I did that and then I went into um, finishing up the album and all the work that went into that. You know, there's so many little things that come along with it. I released my book which was cool. So I did a tween advice book called Between You and Me. And um, that came out. And then obviously Replay and Zendaya and everything that's been happening. And I'm very excited. I think everything is going very well. Yeah, man. And um, I just can't, you know, I can't wait to continue and to continue to share, um, you know, my, my artistic vision with everyone. A lot of your fans being so young look up to you. I guess what would be their first beauty product? mascara i think mascara. mascara is like a cute little you know it, it just gives you the little long lashes and i think because young skin is already beautiful you exactly. don't need anything on that exactly you have naturally rosy cheeks and all that good stuff just a little mascara a little it makes you just feel ooh. i saw on one of the pictures that you had some long eyelashes and stuff like that oh so yeah i love how you talk about eyelashes it's so important my two things, you know, I definitely think eyelashes is a big deal, but my number one is eyebrows. I call it brow fiction. Yeah. It's just eyebrow perfection, okay? Yeah. And it, I think eyebrows are very serious. I don't know why. I just have, like, an obsession with making sure my eyebrows are perfect. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yes, eyebrows, okay. She's I got, got her brow wax, fiction yeah. on, all right? Yeah. And you are also awesome at the Raiders game. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I like to think that I was a good luck charm. Yeah. I mean, they did win that game. I mean, guys. So, <laughs> right, right? The Raiders need to have you every single every time. Every single time. I mean, if you want to give me season tickets. <laughs> I mean. So, I take it you are a Raiders fan and everything, yeah? Of course. I, you know, I'm from Oakland. I can't not be a Raiders fan. I'm a Niner fan. All right, shout out to my Niner fans All in right, here. It's we okay. got some. It's Thank okay. you. You guys can have that. You guys can have that. <laughs> Would you perform at a Niner game? I, I mean, would that be betrayal? I don't know, but I mean... Well, as your fans, you guys think she would be betraying? Okay, if the fans want it, then I would do that. How about basketball? You a Warriors fan? Um, I, Yes, because I, I used to go to Warriors games a lot when I was little. Yeah. Um, I should be more of a basketball fan, but 
Uh, Why should you be? Because, dad? because both the- my parents play basketball. Oh, my, yeah. My dad on. was a basketball coach. Oh, my come on. Mom man. is 6'4. I'm 5'10 and yeah. still growing. So <laughs> it's just like, you know, we're, we're a basketball family and, you know, but let's just not. Let's yeah. just. Well, now we're a music family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, music. Let's let's music. <laughs> music. I went the more artistic way, and yeah, yeah, you know. And you're making it happen. <laughs> Movies and music and hopefully beauty products and yes. stuff like that. I can't believe you put a book out. That's great. It's just an advice book that kind of addresses real issues, and it's from my perspective, so it's not like, um, you know, sometimes I hate books that are written from the wrong perspective. Like, if it's a, an adult I, it's kind of hard for an adult to understand what a 12 year old is going through. Yeah. Now me, it's a little more fresh and yeah. I kind of still, it's a little, you know, it's not, it wasn't that long ago since I was, you know, 12. So I think it's easier for me to kind of give that big sister point of view, whatever. And, um, just kind of really just keep it real and, um, be helpful, you know, and something that they can reference, open up. Hmm. I'm, having a sleepover tonight, I don't know how to, you know, entertain my guests. Hmm, let's go to this section. You know, yeah. it's little stuff like that. Is there anything else you want your fans to know, especially being in the Bay Area back at home? I mean, I think it's also, it's always like overwhelming love when I get back home. It is yeah. because you, you step off the plane and you're like, I'm home. Yeah. And, you know, you take that moment and then you're like, it's just great because it's just a different vibe here than anywhere else. It's just, of course, it's just it's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just it's warm and people know that I'm from here. So like when I went to the Raiders game, people were like, welcome home. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> thank you, stuff. Sounds so good.